Welcome back here everyone. Now one of the things I do every month is I go through the um, top 50 to top 100 and so forth comics for, for the previous month. So July, I still have to do that. I, I will do that video soon when I do the breakdown of the top 50 and top 100 and all these comic books to see where everything is. But one thing I constantly um, talk about and I'm getting really sick and tired of all these god awful shill sites talking about how amazing DC Comics is when the fact is that DC Comics is in serious serious trouble their, 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 their comics have literally hit rock bottom at this point more than 50% of their comics for July alone have completely fallen out of the top 100. Don't even talk about the top 50 because they barely any day, but they've fallen below the top 100. And it's not, I mean, the only character that, 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 that DC relies on anymore is Batman. But even Batman is not safe from it. So I want to go through this list here from um, Comic Book Revolution, where they show how badly it is with these comics. Eh? These are DC comics, what they have here. At 102, we have Robin. Another Batman thing, number th and that Robin number 16 at, at 102. Batgirls, nobody nobody cares about that crap. It's at 107. Action Comics is at 112. And Action Comics is with actual is with actual Superman. The Clark Kent Kalel Superman is at 112. Cannot even break into the top 50. That's how bad it is. You have Justice League versus the Legion of Superheroes. I am Batman at 125. Nobody wants to see Jace, Jace Fox as Batman. Nobody wants to see Black Batman. That's, that's what, they, what, they, what they push that way. Batman is Bruce Wayne. That's who people know Batman as. Why would you come out to want to put out some kind of thing where, you know, um, Batman is some black guy? In New York City, why the Ninja Turtles have kicked his ass yet? I don't know. But you keep pushing it and nobody gives a crap about it. It's not working. It's not working and you don't seem to want to accept that fact. Batman Urban Legend. This is actual Batman Bruce Wayne at 127. Wonder Woman is at 112. I mean, come on. What they've done with Wonder Woman is just literally criminal. Literally criminal. A, a character as popular and as important as Wonder Woman to not only DC but comics overall has just been completely disrespected by all of DC. Wonder Woman cannot, Wonder Woman has not even cracked the top 100 in months. And it just keeps, it just keeps getting worse. We go down the list, Rogues number three, Swamp Thing, Sandman, Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn was a character who got popular. And rather than they focus on doing that, they just now the character is just a complete mess to people. We had Harley Quinn in, in, in movies, we have the Harley Quinn TV series. A lot of people are telling me they're not, they're not really liking this third season of the Harley Quinn um, TV series. I, I personally have not seen it, I, I don't think I even want to watch it. But Harley Quinn, they ruined that character completely. You have, I mean, people liked Harley Quinn because she was a, a villain. You tried to make her into a hero, it didn't work. I mean, she's a mass murderer. Who would bring that person into a hero? I don't know. But it didn't make any sense, and, and, and the readers really had a problem with it. Not to mention, they had that whole eat, bang, kill tour that, 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 they, that they did that just further destroyed the character. Further destroying that character. We have Batman Fortress number three at 153. This was the same comic where they had Batman basically, you know, supporting Antifa and talking about how, you know, people who were rioting and stealing, that's not his problem. These places have insurance. Go ahead, riot, kill. I don't care. Artemis Wanted number one. Another, another waste of time story. You said this, this came out of the whole... Um, trial, trial of the Amazon thing that was never a trial where, where, where um, Hippolyta got killed and it was revealed in the worst way possible that it was Artemis and then, and then in one issue basically turned around and said well you know Artemis wasn't ready to blame there is no story here at all Task Force Z Multiversity Team Justice is another, another absolute waste of time which it, it's basically just members of the LGBT 
um, Q plus community, you know, some lesbians, some gay dudes, they're screaming at each other for like 24, 25 pages. That's it. Monkey Prince, Nubia, Queen of the Amazons. Nubia, Queen of the Amazons is probably one of the worst comics DC could ever put out. All you get in that comic is Nubia is so amazing. Nubia is the best queen ever. Nubia is great. Nubia is a black woman. That, that makes her even more amazing. Nubia is gay. That makes her even more, more amazing. She does no wrong. It's so happy. We love it so much. And fans just hate the crap. That's what it is. They just hate it. It's nothing more than page after page after page of you trying to validate a character that nobody gives a bloody crap about. You have Future State Gotham, people could care less, death stroking, uninterested, suicide squad blaze, nobody business, DC mech number one, nobody cares, fables, and then, and then you get down to the really worrying parts about this. Eh? The unranked comics. The reason these comics are, are literally unranked is that they sold so low, so low that they couldn't even rank in the top 200, and they're, they're selling, their sales were so bad, literally so bad, that nobody, that, that they cannot even be, they cannot even be calculated as to how awful they did. Out the door, we have Aquaman and the Flash Boy number one. Then we have Aquaman number six. Why are they still pushing this Aquaman, Aquaman nonsense? I don't know. I really don't know. Nobody liked it. They had to cancel this series because it was so bad. You took Aquaman, who, whose movie made over a billion dollars. You could have used it as a point to try and bring up the character, build them up. No, no. No, no. Let's have... Let's have Aquaman retire as Aquaman. You understand me? So he could um he retires as Aquaman, retires as King of Atlantis because you know Mira is somehow the better choice to be, to, to be king, queen, whatever the hell you want to call her. And let's bring in um some other guy to be Aquaman. And the only, the only thing we know about him is that he's kind of whiny, um loves to torture people. Oh, and let's not forget the fact he's a big old fan. He's a big old a big old gay dude because that that was a really selling point for everything. Everybody who comes in now must be some member of the alphabet community. God forbid they be good at, 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 at anything. Uh, what else we have? Young Justice targets, not a waste of time. You have Naomi season two. This is Brian Michael Bendis' whole thing. He created Naomi. The, the, the CW series tanked hard and, and, and had to be literally flushed down the toilet. Naomi is so badly received in comics, she can't even, the comic can, can, cannot even be ranked. You had Brian Michael Bendis who came and you gave him free reign to do as he pleased. He, he destroyed Superman, destroyed Superman and Lois's marriage, destroyed um, John Kent, destroyed anything, literally anything, anything Bendis could, could get his hands on, he destroyed. Yet, for some reason, you made it seem like it was the best thing since sliced bread. Wonder Woman evolution, well again, as I keep saying, they just don't like Wonder Woman. Blood Syndicate season one, um, duo, Looney Two. I mean, come on now, man. Look at how badly this is. This is not this is not this is not good for DC comics at all. Their sales are literally in the toilet. And why? Because DC will literally hire all these horrible writers. And every time and every time that they put out books that just tank. They keep giving them work. One such writer is Vita Ayala. Vita Ayala keeps getting work at both Marvel and DC, no matter how badly her work does. And it has reached the point now where they tell Vita Ayala nothing and allow her to bring in her friends. She literally brings in her friends into it. You understand me? The person who worked on the um, Eat, Kill, Bang, Tor, Harley Quinn is a friend of Vita Ayala. A lot of a lot of the other titles that, that they have, like with this ultimate one now, remember with Clune and all that, friends of Vita Ayala. She's bringing in her friends who are just destroying DC Comics. And the editorial team, the, the people the people in charge of it have to take some responsibility and say enough is enough. These people need to leave. But you're not. Your titles are, are falling below the wayside. More than half of your titles have literally fallen out of the top 100 more than half this is not a good look it's not a, this is not a, something 
So don't need to be proud of at all. You are literally scaring your view. Your, uh, this is not looking good. This is terrifying news. Your readers are turning away in droves because they can't stand this garbage content and you all don't want to change. Let me know in the, let me know in the comments what you think. You like the video? Be sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Be notified every time I put out a new video. And I shall see you all next time. But this is a troubling development. Take care.